Okay, hey guys, good morning. Um, this is going to be your reading for today, Tuesday, the, what's today, 13th? 14th? Why do I ever know my days? Today is Tuesday, the 13th, so this reading is going to go for the 13th, 14th, and 15th. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, I didn't have the stone with me yesterday because I was at the beach. But um, the stone for this week, like I said, was um, in the group. Somebody pulls a stone a week, and the stone for this week is right out. And actually, um, I didn't go too much into it yesterday, um, besides telling you that it's the element of air and it's still with Sagittarius, it's connected to Sagittarius, and that the stone is all about the journey. Um, but with the air side, what I didn't go into is it's more so of a mental journey, which um, every journey is actually mental because every journey deals with um, how you mentally think about it, your thought patterns. So this. And I think this is perfect for the energy, especially with the um, opposition between Jupiter and, uh, I forgot the other planet, Pluto. With the opposition between Jupiter and Pluto, you know, right now, there's a lot of people, well, almost everybody's going on some type of mental journeys. And um, I actually kind of went on a deep one last night and had to work out something that I totally forgot I was holding on to. And, you know, I went ahead and allowed myself to go ahead and all the way through that journey to the root of the problem and to let it go. So, this is Rhino, and this is my carnelian stone, and this is Sodalite, and I'll get back to those in a minute after I do the reading with these cards, which I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this one-handedly. <laughs> anyway, this is Sodalite, if I can get better lighting over here somehow, some way. Ugh. Maybe if I do this one. There you go. Makes it a little better. Sodalite. Okay. So back to the cards. Let's pick, let's turn them over. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, but I turned all the cards over, and again, I'm still working with this deck, and I just started, um, you know, going back and doing reading services for other people. So if I still haven't used this deck yet, because they've been wanting the um, the different um, NATO chart readings. Anyway, so we're going to go to the first card, which is Treasures. It's an odd looking card for Treasures. Anyway, this card is Treasures, and I'm trying to see how they got, how she got that out this card. I don't know. But anyway, what the book says is, what was hidden from you can now be seen. Laying within many inner treasures again. This is your time of discovery. Okay, basically... I'm skipping the rest of it, because the first part is what's really, um, getting to me is what was hitting his now, what was hitting his now scene, and, stand up, stand up, okay, what was hitting his now scene, uh, to me, that just shows, it's more than just treasures, you know, um, or if you expand your thinking of what treasure, I'm sorry, my camera shut for down, so trying to turn pretty just the next one, I don't know these other parts either. But if you expand your mind to the idea of what treasure could possibly mean, it could be anything. It could be um, anything hidden, anything that that you've been thinking of, um, old old uh, ideas that you once started and you stopped. That's come back up now, and now it's causing you to realize why you stopped the idea. Um, one of the things I realized has come back towards me is that um, I started feng shui years ago i mean a long time ago and i never got as deep as i wanted to and i only did a little bit a little by little bit because i started really as a teen and then um you know i got when i moved out of my parents house got my own place i did a little bit of feng shui there but because of the way the place was laid out it wasn't but so much i can do i had to get very creative with it and then you know when your life get busy and things like that and you're doing other stuff you know i couldn't really go in as deep with feng shui as i want to and that's been coming up on my brain lately um I would say since last Thursday. And not to mention there's other things where certain issues in the past has been coming up. Again, I still call it hidden treasures because once it comes up, if, there, if it comes up and you're able to look at it from the observer's point of view, then there's now a treasure that you can extract wisdom from. And um, it's now a treasure that you can extract wisdom from. And it no longer affects you emotionally. So now, now that it no longer affects you emotionally, you can use it to help others. So... Like I said, you have to expand your idea of what you consider a treasure. Okay, so the next card is the Universal Connections card. And I like this. 
stone. It's like a little weird. I mean, it does look a little weird. Aliens, identical twin aliens looking at each other. But I like the card because it does show that everything is connected. Like one side is identically reflected on the other side. So this is the guidance you are now receiving. It's truly universal. Take time daily to connect with your angel guides. Okay. So basically now, now that you have, have your hidden treasures coming up and you're seeing the wisdom and everything that's, um, seeing the wisdom and you're seeing all the old stuff that served you and you're trying to figure out why you stopped and everything. And, and you now, now you're probably questioning well, where's all the stuff coming from. It's coming from your guides. It's coming from your spirit guides. It's coming from universal energies. It's coming from the angels. Whatever you want to call it, it's coming from your ancestors. It's the universal spirit guides calling you to be authentically you, to be the you that you was meant to be. Um, to go back into the things, not just throw away everything, but to pick and choose things that you need for this time and right now. Um, what I have noticed is that, what I have seriously noticed is that lately, a lot of people's guys have been causing them to go back into the Bible, oddly. But I think but the, the certain people that's been called to go back are the ones that hold a negative light to it. So I think they're being called back to see it in a different way, not from what they've been literally taught um, from the people around them. Um, or literally talk from pastors, or literally talk from atheists, because let's be honest, atheists are hilarious when it comes to the Bible. I love, I mean, I don't exactly agree with their points of view, but I love how they present it. If you want comedy, talk to atheists about the Bible. <laughs> but anyway, so it's, it's, I've been seeing a lot of people being called back to that. I've also been seeing the flip side where a lot of people who came out of, uh, uh, well, I don't really believe you can ever really leave Centuria, but a lot of people came out of Centuria and the uh, Haitian version of it and hoodoo and voodoo that went into the church. Now they they don't understand, you know, they're trying to get uh, exercise and stuff, and they're wondering why they're being called back to go into it. It's because you hold a negative thought pattern. Most of you have negative thought patterns, anything in your past, it's going to hold you back because everything in your past happened for you to have the wisdom that you have now. So... You know, so the universal energies are working with that, and that could cause a lot of issues if you're not willing to um, work with it. So let's go to this card, which I ain't even got a clue. Um, <laughs> oh, this card is called Revealed. Hmm. I can kind of see that. Like, if all things are hitting right now, and there's rainbow colors, and it's flashing out down there, I, I can see the reveal part. Okay. It says, do you know how, Lord... Give me a second, guys. You know how I feel about these light and love messages. Ugh. Okay. This card says, Do you know how beautiful you truly are? It is time to start hiding from the world. The universe is calling you. You have so much to offer, so much to give. This is cards a reminder for you to see who and what you truly are. You're a part of the one. Okay. I'm going to stop right there because that's all we really need to know. This card is the card that is a reminder for you to see who and what you truly are. So... According to all three cards, all these hidden treasures, uh, if you brought in your idea of the treasures, are being brought up, and you guys are showing you why they're being brought up, and they're showing you other new things and how to work with them, what to do with them, so you can reveal to yourself who you truly are. Um, you can reveal to yourself what you truly came here to do. You can reveal to yourself the true happiness that is within that you have been holding back based off of implanted belief systems and cultured ideas that do not and has never actually served your purpose on this life. Not saying that doesn't serve somebody else's purpose, but it does not serve your purpose on this life. So, with that going over the next three days and actually um, going on for a little bit while, because that's kind of like if you watch the video of Pluto versus um, Jupiter, Jupiter versus Pluto, however I named it, that's kind of the theme for this month. So, getting back to the stones, you know, of course, this one's already Carl Carnelian, so I thought, I thought since this is part of the rooms, I leave it. Um, but carnelian is a stone that helps you to release stress. It's an excellent stone for helping you to release stress. And so it's more like a, um, I don't know, a stress reliever. <laughs> you know, it's one of the stones that help you to um, take things as they come. You know, your bills might not be paid, paid today, but stress and no rank will do nothing about it. So those stones help you release that stress so you can think more so of how to get them paid. And expand your horizons on the different ways you can get them paid. You know, there's there's a whole lot of stuff out there. Relationships. Um, help you release and realize, you know, is that person really meant for you? Which goes into this stone. This stone is, oh, where it go? This stone is sodalite. And sodalite, to me, I call sodalite the serenity stone. Because sodalite is all about helping you, um, helping you understand the truth of your, your truth about yourself. 
So to me, whenever I think of this, sort of like I think of the serenity prayer, um, you know, Lord, help me to change, help me to uh, accept the things I cannot change, change the things I cannot accept, and the wisdom to know the difference. That's all about sort of like help you to understand uh, what's your part in it, what's your truth in it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> And how for you to decide which part of the good, the bad, and the ugly that you like. We all have good, bad, and ugly in all of us. And the part is we, we, we tend to, you know, promote and love the good, and, but we tend to deny the bad and the ugly. All three serve a purpose. So this stone, as, as this energy is helping us go into or forcing us to go into the bad and the ugly for most of us, um, for most of us who have been uh, denying it and hiding it, this is a stone that's helping you to see just because it's bad for someone else doesn't necessarily mean it's bad for you. Just because the, I, the society says this is bad doesn't necessarily mean it's bad for you. Now, I'm not talking about drug addictions or um, suicidal thoughts or homicidal thoughts. I'm not talking about that or um, being abusive to other people. What I'm talking about is, um, I'll use me for example. A lot of people say that I'm very harsh in my tone and um, I'm, I'm very harsh in the way that I speak. Especially when I'm um, mentoring, I am very harsh in the way that I speak. Because if you came to me, that means every other person who has told you the same thing, you had totally ignored. So I'm going to say it to make sure you remember it. And obviously all the ways that they say it all nice and lovingly didn't work for you. So I am very harsh in my tone, but it serves a purpose. And there's nobody who has ever come for me to come for me for mentoring that has not been to at least two or three different people. That, is, that has never happened that way. So that is part of my personality and they was attracted to my personality because my personality is the one that's going to get through through their little um their ego shields their pride shields and crack that down so they can start to pay attention and start to listen or they're just going to stay the way they are and keep messing up their life period so that's an example of how um how sort of like how how you can look at sort of like and work with work with you it might be some aspect of you that you love that everybody else doesn't like but it's not hurting anyone and it's advancing you, and it's actually helping other people. They just don't like the way you do it. Sort of like will help you decide whether it's truly bad or not, or if it's just it, it, it if it's just they don't emotionally like how it feel, even though it's working. Um, you know, the ugly sides of you. I've I've had uh, issues with my skin all my life. You know what? I accept it. That's part of my beauty. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, my son just threw me off playing with the doll. But anyway, I have issues with my skin life, but I accept that's part of my beauty. Yes, I do. You know, that's how sort of like helps you to work. It helps you to accept yourself uniquely for who you truly are. And at this point, I'm going to shut it down because I think my boys are hungry. So everybody, stay blessed. Peace.